how are you going? So you're back to do another collective reading for us all. How exciting. Okay, Donna. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for having me again. I really appreciate that. Yeah, and, and you know, I, I was really looking forward to that. Even though you sent me a message and stuff, I, you know, I, I couldn't wait to get back onto this live feed. And it's a, a beautiful experience for everyone. And I, I love doing these collective readings because we, we can all take a piece of this. And, and it's so important. And, and I really appreciate you letting me play part of this because I think this is a, an awesome thing you're doing. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Always. Of course you're a part of it. Oh. Thanks, Dave. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so what are we doing today? You're gonna pull um pull a card for everyone or well, yep. yeah, today today I'm gonna pull a card and, and I know that I've been on this show before and, and I've spoke about my cards, but I've got these cards and I really don't get a chance to use the cards very often because normally on the phones I do the readings on the phone. I don't really need the cards and when I do the live audiences Obviously, I don't use cards, but I just take advantage of using the cards for this sort of scene. Yeah. So, so it will relevate for everyone. Like everyone should get something out of it, if that makes sense. I'm only going to pull the – well, at this moment, I think I might only just pull the one card. I'll just show you my cards anyway. They're my cards, and they're amazing. And you know what? I, I know I've probably already spoke about this, but I had an idea in my mind. And, and it's really funny that as a medium – I just knew these certain things and I just couldn't get it done and, and I didn't know how to do it. And then um, I met Donna and, and Donna said, oh, I can do that for you. And, and, and believe it or not, we sort of got together and, and Donna made the cards up and got the cards up for me. So I do thank you. And I know I probably thank That's you. Okay. Too, but, it, but it means a lot to me. So I'll pull a card anyway. Let me yeah. Pull a card. I love this your cards. cards. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah. It means a lot. Now, I'm going to hold it up. Now, the card is a pink card and it's two feathers, if you can see that. And it's the number 11 and it says pink. And to me, that means a lot of things around everyone, if that makes sense too. Sometimes it's going to mean like a new beginning for like work or something like that. And it's a thought in my mind. And some people will be saying that they, they want to change, a job change, or they're not happy in the job and stuff like that. And that's what that means for those sort of people. So it means like a new beginning. It means really stepping out, stepping out of your comfort zone because, you know, it's the unknown that actually is a good thing. Sometimes we say, oh, we get comfortable and we don't want to do it. We complain about everything about the workplace or we complain about, say, relationships or we can complain about sporting sporting groups and stuff like that. But if we take the chance sometimes, and I know that there's, there's a saying that the grass is not always greener on the side of the fence, on the other side of the fence, but you know Sometimes that it is, and sometimes that we need to. Sometimes we need to grow, and that's what the card means for a lot of people. And and also it means so. When I say that, I mean that that if you if you take a chance and 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 you go for it, you know sometimes you're going to thank yourself after a couple of weeks and think, God, I wish I'd done that before. And that's what that card means. And then sometimes this is going to mean for something for other people as well. This might mean something for a young lady, someone who's having a child. To me, that means that it might be a child coming for you. You're thinking about it. You're putting it out to the universe. You're asking, how come I can't have a child or, or I want another child or, or something on those lines. And that's what it would mean for you. And, and I, I love this card for that. And sometimes when I'm when I'm talking to people and I'm doing a reading on the phone, the spirit will bring this card forward in my mind and I know that this person around this person it might be a family member are trying to have a child and I use this card in my mind just recently and I, as I'm talking and I'm doing the reading they pulled this card out and a couple of months later the late, young lady messaged me privately and just said to me I'm just letting you know that I feel pregnant and, and I didn't even tell you that but that's what I wanted and it's funny because she was putting it out to the universe in a positive way and it happened and that's what that card means for everyone today. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Ben. So oh, if you want to so find out if you're having a baby or any other predictions, he's the man to see. So um, have a look down the bottom and to, that's a, he, all his contact details and how you can book him in. So thank you, Ben. <laughs> Thanks, Donna. Thanks very much for having me and I hope to catch up with you soon. Yeah, for sure. See ya. Thanks, Bye, Donna. everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.